Uh, I do uh, call out. Uh, Morgan, we can't be hasty. Come back here. We'll find her. Uh, uh, yell because my grandpa's in the room. <laughs> Morgan. What the f was that? Was that you? What was? <laughs> What's on my end? Seven, are you a cyborg? The game I'm playing right now doesn't have music, so. We return to the adventuring party. Okay. Sneak around. Sneak, sneak. Okay, they're coming. Run away. Run away. That's the first time I've just like had fun with a match in a long time. If I remember correctly, the last thing that happened was that um Leopold came back. You guys agreed that you needed to make it to the coast of the Red River to fuck out of here. But he had pointed out to you guys that there were a bunch of dudes in gold and shit, and they were just wandering around. And you didn't, uh, Leopold didn't think anything of it, but I do remember that Mona was like, oh, that's probably You mean, not you mean the group in the town? Yeah. Yeah, no, they just look so odd. I, I don't know if he's seen some of those races before. That's why he's like, was examining them, wondering, is this a delusion? I'm like, yeah, like, Oh, okay. And then he walked off believing them. <laughs> well, Mona would suggest avoiding them, and we need to go find Mom. Where would Mom have gone? Uh, probably at your house. Oh. That is where we're going. What are we doing for uh, Dad? Are we burying him? Uh, no. No? We don't have time. His Can we carry his him? Rest Bury him at the house? We must respect the dead and just leave him where he lie. That will be his tomb. My character would be very much opposed to you guys going back in there as, like, she does not want you to see his corpse. And makes it very apparent that you're, you don't go back in there. At least let me do just... Then One respect minute. father's wishes that he wanted to see his eldest daughter and his eldest son last. She's just looking at you sternly, standing in the way. Can Morgan try and, like, slip past Mona to, to go in there and, and see what's going on? Well, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm like, right... I'm in the door, Jordan. Yeah, but it, it's a tent, so they could... Hypothetically, they could sneak under the tent. I suppose. They won't like what they find. No, they won't like what I, they find. I'll roll oh, the no, percent. she won't like it, but she's... I rolled a 10 as that perception to catch you. Yeah, but also Mona was asked uh... for you guys not to see her body. Not to see his body. Like That's what he told her. Would her halo have come back yet, by the way? The um... halo can come back whenever you want it to come back. You're a okay, sign of still... light? What? It would still be hidden. Yeah. How the fuck are you a scion of light? Our father's a second generation. See, if you had read the uh, the the family history thing, you would have learned she, that Mona she got done, fucky. that that Morgan done fucked up. <laughs> uh, Defender wins in this case, unless you have luck of the draw. No. Okay. Um, you're trying to sneak past me. I'm the defender. I see you. Uh, it's up to Jordan if I see you or not, because he could roll it the other way that you're a defender because you're trying to steal. Yeah, no, it, the, the, the def defender does win, and, and Nam would be, I would say that Nam's the defender here. This is, this is all... This then is I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, Leopold has a pair of balls. Punch so very... Roll the 10 on my defense. 29. Anyways, you super hit me. Yeah, you super hit them. First, do you have the martial artist advantage? It should be below your stats. Oh, I do. Uh, brawl three okay. uh, cost two. Okay, so that means that your brawls boost on um, your brawls boost on uh, uh, five. Uh, is this lethal damage or non-lethal? Oh, not not lethal. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Okay, so this is this is three damage. I would imagine non-lethal doesn't destroy my armor. Oh god, I hope not. Oh I no. I don't want to destroy your armor. A punch I mean, yeah, no, he's not trying to to, to 
Yeah, so so his uh his brawl strikes do six zero five. You broke a you broke a bone. <laughs> this is the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> is punch. <laughs> yeah. So so he at least gives you a bloody nose. So so you uh, in order to help uh, in order to help with the narration a little bit, not not to pull away from potential a- a- XP, but to help move the story along a little bit. Um the um, as, as like Mona turns to see Morgan try to sneak under the tent and go, turns to stop them, you're just like fed up. Your dad's dead. You're frustrated. You're angry. And you just like fucking like side, like, like backhand Mona out of the way, not intending to hit them nearly as hard, forgetting that you have the strength enough to manhandle fucking cows. At at that exact moment, he suddenly turns from like anger and fear because he's afraid his God will judge him if he doesn't do something for his father to sudden regret. Uh, just his whole focus turns to uh, Mona. I am so sorry. He just starts apologizing profusely, not realizing what he's really done. She's holding on to her nose uh, as blood as blood seeps out from under her hand. Oh God! Oh God! As... You're in a rag or something. She. I'm gonna have to roll myself something. Yeah. Okay. She does not beat you with her morning star. <laughs> <laughs> he just. He just. He apologizes profusely. Um, he's not always in his right mind, as, as you know. So I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I'm scared she of what Demer will do you. for me, do to me if I don't do something for my father. You know, it's, it's. What she, lo- she looks at you. It was father's wish that no one see his body. Okay, 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 okay. And he, he backs off with hands up. You know, very, very sorrowful. That uh, really hurt. You have a good. You got a good hit there. Ah. I promise it won't happen again. You, you know, Leopold would be pretty good at protecting everybody when it comes down to it, at the very least. Yep. Um, for clarity, while I do not know the basis of uh, the basis the, for just so you understand how humans tend to act. Something like that, like hitting your sister or an el- uh, uh, hitting an elder would be seen as bad. Like maybe not your elder brother, but hitting a female elder of your family. Yeah, that's would pro- could is like in some families will get you disowned. Uh, yeah, the the uh, uh, humans are very um, humans have I I a lot of human tribes have similar culture to like Hispanic Christian families. Here. I'm not saying that's how our family is. I'm just giving you a like a no, sense of idea of like um, how it could um, be. Yeah. Um. Can I? Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. My character likes to speak up, and um, sorry, I don't know names well. I just go cool here. I'm gonna walk up to Leopold and just put my hand on his shoulder from behind, and I'm going to ask him, "Did you just hit? Um, did you just hit? Did you just hit your sister?" In a kind of a commanding tone. The Falcon Knight. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my sword. No, 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 no. no. Fine. Let no, him play to no. his character. I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. Well, you can't. You're not allowed to. No, you're allowed to kill humans that are like betrayers, but, you know, I guess this isn't that bad. I'm going to whack him with the flat of the blade on the head. Just like a soft, like whack, like a soft one, not a hard. Just soft whack on the head. Right, give him a good, give him a good old whack on the back of the head. So, boop. Um, Bethany kind of pops up. If we're done arguing with each other, we still need to find mother and then leave quickly. Yes. Um, does anybody? Did you handed her a rag, right, uh, Leopold? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah. She wipes the blood out, looking at the rag covered in it, as she's just like, oh, "Okay," and then puts it like in a pocket. 
We need to find Mother. So uh, she looks back at the tent. Can I ask a Morgan question? Morgan is just sorry. Yeah. No, all I was going to ask is while this was happening, did Morgan slip in? Uh. Oh, <laughs> Morgan. Okay, I'm going to say uh, with the punch, Morgan would absolutely have a window if she's not stunned and like unable to do anything. If she's if she's like not completely stunned by the fact that her brother just punched her sister, then it's up it's it's up to her, but you would be able to sneak into the tent to that. And like there is a window. Like there's nothing really that 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 Mona would be able to do to stop you at that point. She's like she's sort of done kind of a bit of both. She's like her hand is like on like the tent flap because I'm assuming it was closed. Uh, but as soon as she heard like the, the sound of Leopold hitting um, Mona, she's just sort of frozen, just sort of looking back at the scene, and she doesn't quite seem to know what to do. She's just so she doesn't take the opportunity. Gotcha. She was in the middle of taking the opportunity, but but it just hit her like what just specifically happened, and she's like, "Oh." I just DM'd my brother, and his response was, "Well, people got along the hard way." <laughs> yeah, I actually, I actually got it wrong. Because when I looked up the god, there wasn't a requirement for burial. I think that was a different god. Yeah, um, that's Tahor. Tahor is all about death. Damar is all about life. That's what I, I got. I got that mixed up. That that's all. That's fair. To be fair, Tahor probably uh, Damar also probably has pretty unique burial rituals that are important to the faith. But well, Damar also does not like when you fail to obey your superiors. So. This was a moment of weakness. Okay. You can pray about it later. <laughs> I will. I, uh, it, uh, it's actually, in my opinion, more fun to play like failings in faith than it is to play your faith exactly. Mm. Oh, absolutely. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. And anyway, anyways, I apologize uh, for derailing the, uh, the adventure. Oh, you haven't. You haven't. Don't worry. This is fine. Uh, um, Mo I'm Mona just looking at a turn counter. It's fine. <laughs> Mona is going to start heading off saying that we should go find Mother before we get burned alive. Leopold's rubbing his head very sore oh. as he follows. Burned alive? Wow. What, whatever do you mean? There's Elysians nearby. Yeah, well, no, all the Elysians, as far as you're concerned, are dead. They were all killed by the goddess. No. I, I was told that there are people with weird gold masks and oh yeah now yeah there might be some Elysians left yeah leopold would have at least brought it up even if he thought it wasn't real as yeah she's she's gonna begin to walk away from the tent okay whoever uh um, get open if yeah if anybody if anybody wants to disturb the the makeshift tomb of your father Nope, I'm uh, obeying now, my superior and following. <laughs> now is the right time to do so. Although you only have a few moments unless you want to get lost because your family is walking away. Morgan just sort of like looks at the tent, like mumbles an apology, and then she 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 runs to catch up with the rest of the family. Mona, roll me a streetwise check to find the uh, the fastest but least uh, fastest path to the house without taking any of the main roads to avoid any potential Elysians. Streetwise, huh? Indeed. Streetwise, huh? Unless you have a better outdoorsman for some fucking reason. I 100% have a better outdoorsman. No, you know what? Streetwise. Keep it streetwise. Actually, they're exactly the same. Oh, that's serendipitous. 
I would prefer like perception to like avoid the people I see. A uh, perception would be. Uh, I, I'll, I'll let you roll perception if your roll is too low. Okay. Well, my other two is negative two. And my perception is plus three. Well, roll the streetwise, and then and because the oh, <laughs> wow. Now roll me a perception check. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm getting a lot of tens this session. Three different tens. This is interesting. Anyway, but we must remember that you are cursed, and roll twenty does. Oh, hate- I, I should I should have added arts of the sky, arts of the sky. May, may I preemptively add that? Because she would have done That's that. That's fine. That gives you, what, like a plus one? Plus two? Plus three. Plus three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's my piety. That's a 13. That's fine. Um, as you're leading the family and you're like, you know what? We can't take front, we can't take the main roads. There's a, there might be some Elysians, and they're definitely going to be on the main roads. So you take back alleys and... and but then you get kind of lost for a second, and you, you ended up in someone's garden, and you're like, I've never been in this guy's garden. I don't even know whose house this is. And then, and then you look over at uh, you look you look over at your at uh, you look over at Locke, and you're like, whose fucking garden is this? And Locke's like, I don't know. And then you you, you find your way back to the main street, and any then, food I can grab from that? Oh yeah, you can grab like a tomato. I'll grab a tomato. As as you get back to the main street and you look both ways and you're like, okay, coast is clear. And you run and, 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 and you figure out where you are. And then you get yourself onto another into some more back alleys. And as you're heading, you're real close to the house, you suddenly start hearing some voices. And you have eh. Roughly about 30 seconds to hide as they're coming around the corner. Yeah, I, uh, I tell everybody to get, uh, to get down, get behind something, get in a bush. Hey, everybody roll me a, a, a stealth check. Why is my really? stealth so low? Oh my god. 2d8, right? Yes, 2d8 plus your bonus. <clears throat> okay, um... Where the hell is my spreadsheet? Here it is. Jordan. Yeah. My character is not going to be stealthing. She is going to be a distraction for uh, her siblings. You look look at your bonus, you're like, fuck this. (laughs) Yeah, my bonus is negative five. Uh, Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do you have a negative five? Because I don't have anything in stealth. Whatever the case, she also doesn't look like a high crook. She has red hair and red eyes, and the people who saw her before are dead. So Okay, in that case... I'm she actually need... looks a lot like an Elysian. In that case, roll me a guile check. Guile lies? Yes. Or guile acting, one of the two. Actually acting. This would be acting, yeah. Because okay, you're trying to imitate re- something. That re- Reduces uh, my ability. Let's see if any of my rituals give me a guile check. Does Art of the Sky increase guile? I don't know. I doubt Arts of the Cold do, but... No, Arts of the Cold definitely doesn't. I think it's only Arts of Fire that increases guile. Flickering Arts. I'm still going to check, Cold. Still going to check. Come on, baby. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerers, please. Oh, well, let's say add to my stealth. That would have been helpful to know. <laughs> oh, I got a 29. Okay. Oh, cool. Jesus. Okay. Uh, How the hell are you getting 20s? What? Uh, Exploding eight. dice. Floating dice. Yes. Yeah. You can actually set uh, that up in uh, so, roll twenty. So so Kate got a twelve. Ken got a seven. What did you get? A seven. Uh, I got two fours, and my stealth is a two three plus four. So a total of twelve. Works for me. And you're not yeah. wearing you're not wearing any armor right now. You just have your. Uh... Yeah, I yeah. remember. 
the fight you didn't have any armor. Like that was a con- point of contention that you didn't have your armor. Yeah. So uh, my character for clarity is acting as if she's already like searched this area, and when she sees these people, she's gonna begin walking up to them. I for full clarity. Uh, whereas Morgan and Locke are able to find like a storm cellar and like hide themselves in there, uh, Leopold tries really hard to hide in a bush. Well, he's pretty yeah, shocked that, at what he did, so that's kind of got him distracted. Yeah, he's that's, not. That's really why I'm hoping my 29 is going to take their attention off of them and onto me. Well, they also already. You, somebody already saw Leopold at one point. Fair. You, uh, with uh, what? What's your intelligence? What, what's your enlightenment score? My enlightenment. Yes. Wait, whose enlightenment? Yours. Oh, my enlightenment uh, score is ten with a mm. rating of two. It might be useful to pretend to be interrogating Doyle, or uh, not Doyle, uh, Leopold, and just talk to these guys like you've like this is the only guy. Okay. You've found that, in the area. that that. That's actually a good idea. So when she thinks about that, thank you, Jordan. She's gonna grab your arm, Leopold. Oh, uh, don't not the face. She, she says uh, pretty softly, "Go with it." As uh, she's gonna throw you on the ground with her uh, morning with her uh, morning star out. Oh, this is fate. Oh. This is fate. <laughs> also, Leopold, the drugs are wearing off pretty hard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, totally sobering up. As Drugs. Coming around the corner are five men, two Vagishes, one human, one ogre, and one two will. None of them have go- none of them have uh, have uh, masks on, except the ogre has like a Phantom of the Opera style half mask. Fuck Legionites. And they are wearing mostly yellow and white robes with like uh, golden golden right. breastplates. And they all have uh, um, gold-tipped bidens, which are you know like a a, 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 a trident with two two points instead of three. You mean military fork? Yeah, military fork. But they're also referred to as bidens. Uh, legionites. Oh, as they no. walk, as, as 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 they're looking around, just sort of tapping stones, they see you. Oh, hello, sister. Mm-hmm. Found the uh, found the local bum, have you? It says uh, the the human guy kind of walks forward. Seems that the Elysians left one alive. Yes, I was going to bring him in for interrogation. Why don't you keep him as a pet? He doesn't. I'm not giving any. I'm not getting any magic energy off of him. She uh, taps on the f- foot, Damarian. No. Oh. How cute. So, did you see that fog? (laughs) How did you survive? Everyone else sort of melted. I was out on the the outskirts looking for uh, escapees. That's how I found this one. Well, we found him. We found him wandering the streets about uh, 30 minutes ago or so. We figured uh, he's probably the last one. We're checking all of the houses, just to be sure. Lots of money to be had in a village full of dead people. Nobody's going to miss it, after all. From the main road, do I know which uh, direction my house is? I would imagine I do. If yes. I don't, I'll be very disappointed. You are, you are quite literally about 30, like, like literally like 40 feet away. Like you could see your house over the rooftops of the other houses. Oh, well, I was going to begin checking these areas. You all can check over there. She points away from her house. Okay, okay. You're one of, uh... Well, you're not wearing any of those goyless masks, so I assume you're a Hellenite. In training, currently. Oh, well, I'm sure you're going to get a promotion from surviving this hell. If, if nothing proves the guilt of the hypos... It's the death of all of these amazingly loyal Elysians. She nods. You can yes. Do with this one, however, whatever you want. He's not a mage. We can let a couple of them live, I guess. I'm thinking of keeping him. 
to bring him in for interrogation, see what he knows, and if he doesn't know anything, I'll, uh, I don't know. The, the, Vigus, I, the, the Vigus speaks up and says, after all of this is done, House Santio will probably pay a fortune for Hyco slaves. They will be rare and of high demand. The beautiful hair, after all. So luscious. Well, I would have to go. I would have to go to a land. I would have to go to a place where that's legal to sell, but might be an option. Might be an option. Maybe Newport. He uh, he nods, walks over, and hands you like the, like a business card, basically, of a slave dealer he knows in, in in Newport. He will give you a good price for the Demarian. Good. That's very good. Thank you. You Vigus are good people. I don't care what the uh, I don't care what the Pharaohs say. She says with a bit of a smile. Wow. <laughs> no one cares what the Pharaohs say. They will all Daddy. be dead soon. They're daddy ingots. They are. He uh, pats you on the head, kind of like a play, like a like a like a proud kind of like good job kind of pat. You've, when you're done playing with this one, you can meet back meet with us at the south at the entrance of the South Road. We're collecting all of the money in town. We're going to bring it to the Temple of Legion and bail for a nice reward. That's uh Well, um if I can find time in my schedule. Yes, yes, yes. Your schedule, you Hellenites. Enjoy the rest of your day and be grateful you're not dead. The ogre says as he he just taps the the Biden against the stone, literally inches from where the other two are hiding. Uh, well, the other four are hiding because of the other two NPC siblings. I keep forgetting exist. <laughs> and yeah, she she smiles when he does that. Of course, and uh, do remember. The mo- uh not the mother, but uh, I need. Hold on, let me let me figure out what her title is. Well, the weaver is the most appropriate, usually. Well, I'm thinking of like the actual title under her name. Pretty sure it's literally just weaver. I think. It, it, I think you're right. I want to make sure. I want to make sure I'm saying it right because it's. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you rolled almost a thirty on the guy I'll check, so this is a flawless performance. And because my lady is educated, that's a Rotha the quad. There she is. And do remember, the Queen of Order, she is always watching you. Right, right. Always watching. As uh, they, they move on. Yeah, and to really sell it, she watches them until they turn the corner. Yeah, as you, they, they just talk amongst each other in a horror Mazdian as they're walking away, and and it's like like well, the ogre starts laughing. I speak our horror Maz- I speak it. Yeah, they're, they're just bullshit. They're just dude bros being dude bros. They're talking about how rich they're gonna get looting this fucking town, and the <laughs> the stupid fucking idiot villagers who decided to harbor mages. Now they're all fucking dead. The mages killed. They cle- they clearly think the mages killed everyone. Like suicide bombed the entire town into non-existence. Wait, wait, sorry. What language is this? Ahara Mazdian. Oh, Leopold knows that. Yeah, I, I imagine many of you probably. Oh, okay, know. okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't know how rare it was. Oh no, no. I, I mean, because. Uh, uh, no, anyway, keep go on. My, I, it's actually it actually is a pretty rare language to know. It just happens that our father was a light cleric. Fair, fair. Well, I'm not a light cleric, but a worshiper of a light lady. <laughs> Don't interrupt the scene, but I do gotta send this to you, Nam. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? Leopold holds up uh, a peace offering. Tomato? <laughs> she's gonna pick you up, and then oh. she looks over at her other siblings. Okay, that happened. Come on, everybody. My character is going to look like partially annoyed at what just happened. 
Are you all okay? That was, uh, close. Do what? not let those people see you. They'll steal your souls. What's the original word for one of those species I can say? Uh, What's that? What's the racial slur I can say for one of the species that were just there? Oh. Uh, I mean, some of them were humans. There was a vagus. So one one, so one human, two vaguses, one ogre, and uh, two will. So, I don't know. What's, yeah. a, what, what's a good racial yeah. slur for vaguses? Uh, um, steel man is the most common, but not really that offensive. What? Um, oh, a Hobbs goblin. That's right. Hobbs, That's like yeah, the Hobbs most offensive. Goblin. That's their. A Hobbs Goblin is literally their version of Darkling. Okay. Yeah. Stupid. I'm just, just going to mutter on my breath. Stupid Hobgoblin always getting in our way. Mm. Yes, don't let them see you. They're Santias. They'll, uh... They won't play nice. As yeah, you guys can now get to the house. Which, the door is wide open. Uh, there's the 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 piles of clothes uh, uh, like assorted in the doorway and on the on the porch of like what the servants would wear, indicating where they just fucking stopped existing. I yell out, "Mother, are you in here?" The house is to, eerily I'm, quiet. I'm going to say the word. I think mother is dead. There's like completely like unfazed, just like basic faced emotionless. I'm just gonna say, I think mother is dead. I oh. look at you with the most hateful, angry look you've ever seen from her. As just as like like this is a this is a large three story like mansion essentially with like uh with like around 12 bedrooms a large study a library a large kitchen a garden out back and you hear i guess I was I gonna, guess, oh can, yes Morgan? i was gonna say uh morgan at that practically runs off to go look for their mother uh would, would i be able to grab her arm and stop her from running uh, I, I'd say you're a little a little far away, but you can probably chase after her. Uh, I do uh, call out, uh, Morgan. We can't be hasty. Come back here. We'll find her. Uh, Morgan either doesn't hear Mona, or she's just flat out ignoring her as she like bolts off to just go ransack the house to try find their mother. Mona in her head. Why does everyone keep ignoring me? <laughs> My nigger's gonna walk towards his room to get all his stuff. Mm-hmm. That was my plan too. Well, I guess. Yeah, everyone, go get your things. My nigger's already come to terms with the fact that his parents are dead. Well, mom's got a uh, loophole. Turns, mom's got to be alive because only one of the seven was to be sacrificed. What? It's what Demir told me. That for the six to survive, the seventh was to die or something. I can't fully remember. So mom's gotta be alive somewhere. Just so that you can remember specifically, the omen you received was that out of all, all out of all of the seeds, one of them shriveled up and died, and then the rest of them started sprouting. Yeah. That was, that was the omen you got specifically. That's and that's why he assumed one high crow would be sacrificed for the rest to survive. Which why As he thinks mom is not dead. Mom is not a high crow. Oh, that's an interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say mom not mom is not by mom, mom was not born a high crow. Uh, I let just walk into my room. Her last name is Hycro. Stop being so pessimistic. We'll find her. As, uh, starting with Morgan, who runs up. I'm assuming you're just sorting all of the rooms. Yeah. 
as or is you you check your room and see the light is reflecting through the window in an almost almost rainbow-esque fashion illuminating your room in, in a very calming manner nothing has changed since this morning i mean you were last here only a few hours ago nothing should have changed except for all of the piles of clothes on the floor as there is one thing that has changed that you notice and that is that your diary is open she beelines towards it and like old, just, i guess some some yeah. some old messages some old passages from when you were a kid about that uh that quote unquote imaginary friend of yours as what she reads from uh, the, 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 your your writing about your experiences with the princess like Despite everything that's uh, that's happened, like a small, like fond smile just appears on her face, and for a moment she's almost calm again. Hello. Oh. Locke, what are you doing? My character or me? You. Well, your character, obviously. Oh. I'm just getting my I'm getting my stuff, my armor. Any chance um, you can check your mic? It's a little muffled. Oh, sorry about that. I have to lean into my computer a bit. I don't have a mic yet. Okay, that's fine. Well, I do have one, but it's um not charged. How much? What do you mean, how much? How much will it charge you? Sorry, anyway, go on. <laughs> you know what? You get an applause for that. You get an applause for that. <laughs> that took me well on my surprise. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going through my stuff, getting my armor, getting all my, like, the necessities I need for my room, things that are important to me, religious items, whatever. Out of character, I don't know what the fuck is in my room. Oh. Yeah, so you're... Honestly, you don't really keep a whole lot of personal possessions in your room. Aside from, you know, you, uh, some workout equipment, the, your holy text, your, your armor <laughs> is in your closet. Of course, you have... You don't have full plate, but you, you do have a... You do have a... a, 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 brig a brig brigandine? Um... But that's uh, a little difficult for one person to put on. Usually you need one of your siblings to help you put on your armor. Um, okay. But that is, that's on your stand. And there's also a place on your wall for your sword and the scabbard. But that's already at your hip. Okay. As uh, you, you can kind of decide what would be in your room. It'd be kind of up, somewhat up to you, I imagine. I know, just like, I'm not used to doing this type of stuff. Um, go to the next person. Come back to me later. Leo. Yo. I, uh, wh where are you looking? Like, you, you can go to your, you don't have to go to your room. You can go, you can go to any other part of the house. If you're, if you're looking for mom or if you're just grabbing things. Well, she hadn't called, so um, I guess the two things I'd want to do is kind of like do a quick packing of some extra clothes, uh, whatever stash I have there, and then um, collect any food uh, that we can use for the journey. Okay. 
Yeah, you're able you're able to collect honestly just searching through the house. You grab some shoulder bags. Uh Doyle's you still don't know what Doyle is, but you're sure that your cat their cat's up to you. Uh, you it dawns on you that you don't you're probably gonna have to leave without finding Doyle. But if they're not dead, then they need to catch up to you. So how how are you gonna how are you gonna make sure Doyle finds you guys? Doyle. Doyle's still in prison though, isn't it? Eh, to your knowledge, probably, but who knows? I mean, with a lot going on, they they might have gotten dragged out by the Elysians. They might have broken out. They might still be sitting there. The guards might have let them out to help fight against the Elysians. You have no idea what Doyle is. Okay, well, um, I think the best move after kind of what he kind of went through is to go to Mona and kind of just relay, look, I'm worried about Doyle. Uh, probably still in jail, no telling. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you suggest as the elder we do? Uh, so you're coming to my character? Yes. Okay, Jordan. Uh, my character would have been... She would have been going through the house to all like the little secret places that her dad showed her when he was trying to make her a cleric. Oh, yeah. Um, your dad's primary copy of the holy text of Laku, uh, that would be specifically uh, working for mom, but yet also getting dad's like treasures and stuff. Enough, uh, like, enough, like, like, backup supplies or, um, or like, and like, m like, money tucked away in different parts of the house to. Like, help you guys survive a pretty decent sized trip. Um, you're still looking through like the third cubby, which is like up in like up next to the servant bedrooms. As uh, as Leopold approaches you, she uh just sort of stares at you. Hey, so, uh, worried about Doyle, uh, I don't know where Doyle is, and not sure what to do about it, and I figured I'd get your advice. I don't want to leave a note, because if those other guys come back, you know, I don't want them reading that. She sort of looks down for a moment, thinks about that. Well, um... We can't find him. It's a difficult thing to think about. Well, last we knew, she was in jail. Uh, so was Doyle like captured or like in like jail, like jail, jail? Do Doyle was in jail for assaulting a town guard after the town guard racistly of uh, like 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 made fun of and mistreated one of the friends who was an ogre and beat the fucking shit out of him <laughs> she was sentenced to three cycles in jail and she's still as far as you're aware she's still there fine um leopold you take over looking for mother here Oh, okay. I'll go with Doyle. If they're alive or not. Um, are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Because they know me by now. If you go... Get the rest and... Uh, get the rest and go to the basement. Hide down there. Protect them. You're very strong. She points at her nose. Oh, yeah, right. Smell of weed. I remember. I gotta bathe. 
That's not what I meant, but yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, long shot. Is there a thing that could heal me in this room? Um, at the very uh, like like uh, you're you're walking over to like the fourth cubby area, which is just removing a wooden panel off of, of a wall at one point, and your father has. Uh, an emergency stash of oh, light thank- drafts. Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to grab... There How are, many of them are there? There are six. And you know that no one here can replace them. Okay, I'm going to grab two. And then I give the rest to Leopold. These will heal you all if you get hurt. They are not replaceable. Do not waste them. As I drink one, and it's gonna bring me back. It brings you up to full health, right? If you're not in the quick, then yes. If you're in the quick, it brings you to just outside the quick. Okay, cool. Oh, cheers! And then I drink another. Course. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I drink the whole stash. <laughs> That's so something monkey would have done too. <laughs> yeah. Keep these safe. If uh, if we don't use them, we can sell them when we get to where we're going for a lot. Packing them up carefully. As yeah, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the jail. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna. Be, I'm, you're gonna be so mad at me. Uh. Oh, you know what? You don't need to roll streetwise this time. You know where the jail is, and you can take the main roads because you're by yeah. yourself. I was uh, going to make you roll streetwise think, again. <laughs> they also think I'm a Hellenite, so. Yeah, they think you're a Hellenite. Um, as it, it only takes you, like, walking down the main road, only about 10 minutes, like, like kind of running down the road to get to the, like, the guardhouse slash jailhouse. Which has six prison cells in it and a small barracks for the guard. And uh Wasn't my husband a guard man? Oh yeah, you were gonna be married to the uh the the captain of the uh, captain of the guard's son. Ah. Who was that, who was presumably um and this is presumably of course, you don't know this for a fact, uh killed in the fucking burning holocaust that wiped out the the fucking uh, <laughs> That wiped out the fucking top of the hill. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel nothing about that, so... I mean, you didn't love him, so... I, I, I know I had a friend. I think he was my bud. But what I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, check the cells, and if they, anybody tries to stop me, they're gonna get murdered. Well, you walk in, you see three guards... Um, whose bodies still exist, which means that they were killed before everybody got hit by the mist. Um, you look around, and you see there are three prison cells who have gotten completely smashed in. Someone from outside smashed into them, and one of them had a, uh, like a, like a ferrum prisoner. He's super dead. His head crushed against the wall. Um... You go over to the other set of cells, and you see one of them. One of the cell doors is open. The other two cell do- cells have not been tampered with whatsoever. All six cells are empty. There, um, you look around, and you see that, they're, that the only living thing in this entire place is a black cat with yellow eyes that is uh, just sort of Vibing on a window seal. I stare at it. I consider killing it because it's a creature of she, and she is related to fire. And could be a spy. But I'm not going to kill it, because it also could be a witch's cat. It looks, it looks, it looks at you, like, kind of lazily. It does that thing where, like, tilts its head upside down while, like, scratching its back. Meow. 
I'll walk over to the cat. If it lets me pet the cat, I'll pet the cat. The cat let, very happily accepts pets and, and rubs up against your hand. Does cat let me pick cat up? Yeah. Okay, I have the cat now. Can you fuck cat? <laughs> the cat, the cat kind of cuddles into your arm. Very, very lazily, except like, 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 with its paws kind of just, like, dangling off, just kind of cradles into your hand and your arm as you, as, as you, you, you look around and there's, there's definitely sign of some, some bullshit. There's, you know, there was a fight here, but Doyle, there's no body and Doyle's not here. I sort of put the cat, like, I'm holding it with it hanging off my shoulder as I'm going to walk out. The cat will just lay on your shoulder. Very good. Yeah, cat, cat's on my shoulder. I'm walking out with the cat. I don't see, I don't see Doyle. Probably, they're probably dead. I'm going to look around the area. He if I find an unconscious high crow person. Roll me perception. I'm using ritual. Which ritual? I want to learn. Arts of the sky. Okay. It allows me to add my piety to roles involving my divine. Uh, I will not divine, but it allows me to add my piety to roles involving uh, roles stated on the ritual and perception <gasps> is one of those roles for the air one. Which gives me a plus six. Sixteen. A sixteen? Yeah. So you're looking around and you don't find any sign of them. The, 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 you, um, more importantly, you don't sign any you don't find any sign of them being dead either. Um if they were dead there would be a pile of clothes resembling a prisoner's unit outfit or a, a dead body if they had been killed by Elysians beforehand. You don't find anything like that. You check some of the houses, even. Still nothing. Um, with that ten in enlightenment, they had no way of knowing where you guys were. They might have fucked out of town already. Or well, they're hiding just better than you can find them. But if they're hiding better than you can find them, they're probably hiding better than the than the Legionites can find them. Yep. I'll I'll assume that they're good enough to survive on their own, and I'm going to begin heading back home, looking for mom. And we are going to cut back to Morgan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm here. What all are you packing and collecting for, like, the trip? Um, so, obviously, like, the essentials, clothes, uh, like, a few daggers she's probably collected over the years. And then she also has her diary, which she holds close to her chest. As she looks around her room, and really, she can't think of anything else she would want to bring. Um, and, then, and then she remembers that under her pillow is and this might be me remembering what happened. Um, but didn't the spirit she talked to when she was a little kid give her a, a, a ring? Yes, yes. I gave you a yes. ring. Yes. Okay. Uh, she remembers that ring. Um, 
and and she'd put it on like a a, a chain. Yes, you uh, you acquire the uh, you acquire the ring. Um, and yeah, sorry, go ahead. And it feels, despite being in your room, not under your head for quite some time, the ring always feels warm. Just a little bit. Not very warm, but still warm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a silver she... ring with an opal. Yeah. She sort of fiddles with it for a bit. Uncertain. Because a lot has happened in a very short time. And then she sort of, because it's on a, it's on like a, a chain. Uh, so she puts it around her neck and like tucks it under her, her shirt. Um, she would have probably changed out of her like, probably bloodied dress by now. Um, into something a little more practical, for being, on the run. Um, and then she's just sort of gonna sit down in bed and just think. Roll me a perception check. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, let me let me me find where that is on the sheet. It'd be nice if the sheet loaded. Um, Perception. I pray to the god of racism, right? <laughs> that is a grand total of nine. Okay. You're not sure where it's coming from, but as you're sitting there quietly, you hear a thump. Someone's masturbating. You hear oh. some. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You hear a thumping sound, like someone walking around. You can't pinpoint exactly where it is, though. But it is, but it is more faint than if, like, just one of your siblings was like outside your room or whatever. Um, first instinct is to. Uh, where is it? Her first instinct is to uh, cast the spell Sea Spirits. I don't know yeah. if they can make like physical noises, but that is that is her first instinct. I already you can only see you can only see angels because light line is the only line. Yes. Yes. Um. Well, aside from. The the light coming through your window being made out of tiny little knobbies. Um and like every every bit of light being alive now, which is the way like I don't know a better way of describing it than what that than all of the light now is made out of tiny little living things. So try to wrap your head around that. But, <laughs> Other than that, you don't see any other angels around. Um, as we, we temporarily move over to uh, Locke, who is in his room, I imagine trying to put on his armor. Oh, uh, so, yeah. so, sorry. I'm going to have a second sword because sword funny. And then I'm going to go downstairs and um, I'm going to check if the house has any rations in it. Uh, Mona's already like Mo- between Mona and and Ken. You notice that most of the rations have already been packed up in the, like sitting in like medieval duffel bags, basically in the kitchen. Uh, roll, roll me a perception check. Oh, okay. Uh, two D eight again, right? Two D eight, like everything else, plus your perception bonus. Is a perception A B C D E F G P P P. Um, there is. Six, one, so plus five. 
the ones become zeros, right? The ones count as uh, yes. 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 Okay, so just so roll a six and a one, so the one gets removed, so it's just a six. Yeah. Okay. So a total of eleven. How does exploding dice work? If you roll an eight, it, it you get to roll a third dice and add it to your total. Um, it, it, uh, ex- explosions, explosions, um, fucking can go on for a while. So if you roll an eight and then and then yeah, that explodes into another dice roll, and then you roll the third dice and it, it, it that's an eight, then you roll a fourth dice and then that one's an eight. It, I've seen it happen. I've seen someone roll fifty six from like multiple eights in, in a row. Now, the highest I've seen was 70. Now, yeah, I think 70 is literally the highest recorded dice roll in this game. Ever. No, the highest recorded is 80-something. But, oh, uh, yeah, that I was, was, that was the Tabulian Blood Golem that Harrison made in... in uh, Wait, so is it a total of eight, or one of the dice are eight? Yeah, so if one of the dice are eight, then you re-roll a third dice. And you, ke- you keep the original roll, but then you roll no- again and add that to the total. Okay, cool. Uh, the only time that doesn't happen is if you roll an 8 and a 1. The 1, def- quote-unquote, diffuses the exploding 8, and it just counts as an 8. Well, um, okay. Double 1 an, is the worst thing example. you can possibly get in this game. Here's an example of what exploding dice can do. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That was uh that player was fighting a vampire and he rolled the uh, the vampire was attacking him. Oh right. shit! Jacob got fucked. <laughs> he had a, eight ribs break, his arm broke, and he was smashed into a tree. Uh-huh. It was very satisfying. <laughs> so yeah, I rolled Killed eleven. The vampire, okay, as you as you're checking around downstairs, you hear a like a somewhat like. A non-rhythmic thumping sound from somewhere in the house that sounds like someone banging on, like, the wooden, like, on the wood. And you're like, first instinct. First instinct. Oh, crap. Leopold got stuck in his room. (laughs) Not again. As Leopold... Mona just told you to stay here and look for mom. Well, so what are you doing? Well, everyone's looking for mom, but he's like trying to tell people hurry up because we're also supposed to be in the basement too. So he's keeping an ear out for anything from outside that might be headed this way, but trying to get everyone to stay quiet, hurry them, hurry up, you know, hurry up down to the basement uh, when, once you're done. You know, if you want to think, think down there. If you want to put in your armor down there. Um, we'll be safe down there, and he'll he'll just stand by close to the front and just just keep a, an awareness out. Yeah, uh, uh, Locke turns the corner and uh, like sees that you have not, in fact, locked yourself in the in your bedroom, and he he and uh, ro- roll me perception as well, Leopold, to see if you hear the banging. It's not super obvious. All right. Okay. This I know, so give me a minute to perception. Because I was trying to get a guide for you guys. Let's see. There's perception. Six. Six here. I hit roll. That's a 17. Now that he's not high... (laughs) Now that you're not high, your perception of reality is much better. Oh, shit, as this see, is horrible. As, uh, good. you would be very aware that, uh, that there is banging somewhere in the house, somewhere above you, and that it does not sound like there's like a bang, bang, bang. It sounds like someone, like, somewhat desperately trying to, like, like bang on the wall. He'll, he'll start heading upstairs, like, will you keep quiet? There's, there's people out there trying to kill us. And he goes upstairs to try to 
warn whoever's maybe doing that. The only person you can find upstairs is your sister, who does not seem to notice the ba- Well, if they do notice the banging noise, they're not really doing much about it. Oh, so you're not banging in here. Okay, where's that coming from? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Morgan is just... Where the noise is going from. Say um, that again? Sir, I'm also trying to find where the noise is coming from. I mean, if you're looking for where the noise is coming from, it's coming from above you at this point. Like, you, you do figure that much out. Okay. So I'm just going to be going upstairs then. Sorry, I missed that. What? Oh, he's going upstairs. He's going to be upstairs. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, Marga is sort of just like sitting on her bed, kind of catatonic. Uh, so. Look, we got to go to the basement, but we got to get whoever that is to stop. And he's looking up. You're, you're looking around. I mean, the place has an attic, doesn't it? Oh, God. So wouldn't that be the next <laughs> place to check? Oh, God, I know what he was responding to. Oh, uh, yeah, the attic. Yeah. So one of us, I guess... Would be heading up there. And, to... and the attic has one of those pull down, like like latch ladders. Oh, like in uh, Christmas Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, are we both going in, or just one of us? Uh, Leopold will stay back and let you go up if you want. Okay, I will go up. <clears throat> uh, as you lock, as you pull the hats down, immediately your mother falls out of the attic. Can I catch her? <laughs> my, the I'm first actually not I'm fast. Say, wait, before anyone said everything, anything, my character's gonna go, oh, so you're alive now. You can believe dead on the inside. God, Locke is such an asshole. I love him. <laughs> and then he's gonna, like, like, put his hand out to help his mother up. Oh, she, she, she pulls you in for a hug. I can't... I've been stuck up there for... I went up to, to go get supplies for the wedding, and then I just heard all, l- fighting in the streets, and so I closed the latch, and then I realized I couldn't get out again because there's only... No one would let me out. I've been banging up here for an hour. I'm going to hug her back. And just hug her back, just happy that she's alive. Not showing it, but I'm happy. Come on, guys, down to the basement. We can talk there. Gotta stay safe. I miss... Yeah, but what is going on? We'll explain down the, in the basement. Just come, 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 come. Grab, grab whatever you need, hurry. Morgan comes flying out of her room, full speed tackles Malvo. Just... She, 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 she takes the hug, and, like running, like like hugging you back and running her fingers through your hair. What is, what, what? I, I only saw you like two hours ago. What's with the? Hmm. Where's your other siblings? Where's your father? Everyone. He's he. he yeah. He's dead. <laughs> I'll just say it. I'm like, you're just gonna say it right there. He's dead. What? It's not funny to joke about such things. He died. Fire came over. Mom, the town is dead. We need to. We need to get out of here. But we gotta wait for for Mona to come back. Her face, her face just warps into that of. Like shell shock, essentially. As you you lead her into the basement, as Mona, you you do uh, like after, you know, not too long after that, you do get back, and I I, I imagine you. Ah, uh, the the cat 
like once you get through the door, the cat just kind of like stretches off your back and just hops mm -hmm. off. They continue to like follow you, but that's that's good. This is my sister. I'm guarantee. I, I guarantee you. you said Doyle was a girl, right? Yes. Yeah, this is Doyle. <laughs> you just think Doyle got turned into a cat? You're like, I don't know how this happened, but I'm not even asking questions. Did you Come get on, in my cat, stash? Doyle. No, I don't do drugs. Drugs are bad for you. Okay. Okay. Anyways, uh, okay. Get she's gonna reference. begin. Uh, she's gonna I'm begin gonna... walking into the basement where she told the people um, to be. I will say yes for a drug. What? And then I'll 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 say yes for a drug, and then just I'll just like eat it. Just They're eat it right. Uh, you're you you're a pelgonite. Drugs are against your uh, sin. Never mind. I will not be saying yes. <laughs> I don't think it says drugs are a sin. It, it, he's very. It's pretty open. He's against drugs. I'm pretty certain it's a sin. If not, it's like very heavily discouraged in his church. Um. Anyway, so you uh, you get down and you see that they found mom, and she just looks shell shocked. She she sees you come downstairs and she 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 gets up and she runs over and she gives you she she pulls you into a hug. Yeah, there's uh I give her a hug back, but like she can see that like I mean, she knows what happened to her daughter and she can probably see that there's a lot more going on in her head now. As the cat follows in behind her. Is she nose still bloodied? Uh, no. She she cleaned okay. her nose. It's nice to see you, mother. I'm happy you're alive. I. We need to leave. Yes, we do. She uh calls out. Doyle wasn't in the prison. Uh, wasn't in the jail. But there's no sign that she's dead, so I believe she fled. We'll have to find her later. We need to go now. There are still Legionites out there. Car uh, Carver kind of stands up. Can we just... There's... There's only, like, five of them. There's no more time, and they're most likely all clerics. And what can they do? Burn us alive and steal our souls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bethany just like like pulls the pulls Carver down. Yeah, I don't exactly want my soul stolen. Thank you. So here's the plan. Is everyone listening? Why did you get the cat? She was at the jail. I named her Meowser. Do you want to hold her? Am I? She uh, gestures for you to pick up Meowser. <gasps> Very carefully, she approaches the cat. This cat doesn't fucking care. There's no, no one in this room is startling the cat. Like you pick the cat up, and the cat is just ragdoll motion, just like okay, this is. Yeah, my I, I know what I, I know. This type of cat. cat. I will, this is this is the best cat. When you pick them up, and they just shut off. Just, I'm going to take off my pants and pick up the cat. You you pick Mark, up her, you, you pick up the Mark. cat and like the the Microsoft shut off noise plays. <laughs> Morgan's already picked up the cat, so you try and steal the cat from Morgan. She fucking hisses at you. Just I hiss back. I hiss back at Morgan. Let stop playing, everyone. I need you to listen. You too, mother. The they believe they believe me a Hellenite due to my blessing. We are going to keep it that way. She shows the card. We are going to be moving with the with the Legionites. They're, it is the safest route we can take. They're going to bail. We're going somewhere other than bail. 
As they believe me, as they believe me of a, a ranking Hellenite, I was simply I told them earlier that my plan was to go to Newport, so that's where we're going. Do you all her, understand? Her eyes, your mother's eyes widen. I have family in Newport, that's and good. you would know by blood your mother is an Awi. Oh, well, that's very good, Mom. We, we, no, 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 you don't, we, we, that is where we should go. The, we, 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 we have your grandparents and, and your uncles and, and a, a place to live. And Bethany pipes up, but aren't there a lot of, you know, enforcers in Newport? And, and you know, they, they, they just sort of, Made it very clear that they were going to kill all of the high crows. Well, we can't stay in through, and the only other places near us are the Dark Forest in Fear, Zanserheim, or Rogelin. To pick, uh, make your choice. Mo- Mona. Mona. Sorry, I apologize. No, no, she, no. She actually looked sort of upset. Mona. Yes. Can I go grab Toothless? Huh? Um, Toothless. It's um, Doyle's uh, Optiling. Of course you can. All right. So, um, to... hmm? so Mother looks like an all we, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, I, I, uh, I like hold her in close. You are no longer a high crow. Do you understand me, Mother? We're going to have to do what we have to do. I, I need... Everybody to... God, this is be me, not you. This would be me. I need to be the one that's strong. Then Toothless is your Optilang. Do we have a carts, cages, anything? We can put them in, make them think, oh, they're... Well, just it's get a mount. ropes it's or chains. It's pretty big. Yeah, but, she, uh, but uh. you can't just have it to your side because, uh, like, you're meant to be a prisoner. Go, I'll get you. you know? I'll get you. As, uh... really... Oh, continue. I don't look like a high crow either. Morgan, what you look uh... like is good property. <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I... What? <laughs> she just. <laughs> She shakes her head a bit. What were you gonna say, uh, Leopold? Oh no, he he wouldn't be there. He'd be out getting the. Oh. You look like a valuable Morgan. You look like a valuable slave, and I'm going and I'm going to use that to my be- uh, to the best advantage I can. And mother. I don't want to hear anything about my lies. It's going to keep us alive. Uh, We need to get to the river. We have just enough money to hire a boat. They can smuggle us. Get everything of value. And uh, we have a cart, right? We should have a cart somewhere. I'm going to say to leave things of value. No, uh, so... uh, she, the Legionites were robbing the place, so if we take things of value, it looks like we were doing the same. Mm. You know? No, but if they ask around, and they figure out no one ever looked in the place, and it was already ransacked, that means other people were there. Yeah, we're the ones who ransacked this place. Yeah, but they, they would think, like if they talk around with other people in the area, and they figure out no one ever ran the place. I mean, I think I'm just being uh, careful. I, I, I know, I see what you're saying. So how I can see it, and you might be right. I'm not saying you're wrong. But how I see it is they thought I was a Hellenite looking for people. And I told them, oh, go this way. I'm checking this way. They went that way. So we can bring stuff that is ours because they think, oh, I would have just grabbed that with these people I found. You know? That hopefully that makes yeah, you sense. Make you make a good point. Cool. Uh, 
Yeah, so pack uh, pack everything up, and then uh, she's going to tie all the people with purple hair up. Put them in the back of the cart. Mm. Which is everyone other than myself and mom. Morgan. Morgan. Uh, I want to say Morgan has mostly golden blonde hair. Yeah. But he has purple highlights at the very end. Oh, okay. Well, that's still very high, Crow. You're also getting tied up. You can just cut off the highlight. No, yeah, she just cuts. You look she like just, a like... fancy high crow. Uh, so what Morgan high. does is, yeah, she gets like a dagger and she just cuts like. So from where the highlight starts, she just cuts it off. Oh, you cut your hair short. If you cut yeah. your hair short, you almost look like a. Uh, you almost look like a Helios. A uh, Helios is or a elip- aren't they? We're Garar. Well, I mean, ethnically, uh, shrug, but how many non-humans are going to be able to tell the difference? That is a very fair point. What I'm afraid is the humans, though. Yeah, a, hu- a human would probably need, uh, like, a, like, probably a forte in, in, in cultures, like, a, a, like some good boy grades in academics. A legionite human probably would be able to tell. But uh, they could actually be. They could potentially get away with a lark. Lark, like, yeah, uh, that, like that's pan, also definitely a possibility. Multicolored hair. But whatever the case, she ties you all up. Make sure she makes sure you're comfortable, and the and the ba- the bounds around you aren't actually like that well tied. If you guys need to, you can get out and start running. But they're tied just enough to look can like, oh yeah, these people are tied up, you know? Morrigan doesn't really make that easy for Mona to do. She's very against being tied up in any way. Oh, she we can make that for. we can make that into a scene. As she uh walks over to you to tie uh to put uh to tie you up. Give me your hands. It's just for looks. It's mm-hmm. only temporary. You know, it, it'll be all right. No, I don't no, no, no. Morgan. Uh, is, are you saying no, like, oh, it's okay, you tie me up, or no, I don't want to be tied up? No, I don't want to be tied up. Yeah, so she gets down close to your face. And she has, like, Thanks. a reassuring look. Morgan, if they catch you, if they catch us, they will not just kill us. They will put us on pyres. They will burn us alive after torturing us for cycles on end to get every bit of information they can out of us. Morgan looks just so, so very close to just crying. Leopold's trying to reassure her. Look, we're in this together. We'll get through this together. I just... Car- uh, Car- uh, Carver uh, Carver says Besides, if we're all tied up, if we have to get into a fight, they won't expect us all to jump out with our swords. Right, Locke? Hmm? Like, I just, like, parts up, you know, just, like, tiddling his fingers around. What? If we're all t- fake tied up, if we get stopped and have to get into a fight, they're not going to expect all the people with their hands tied to jump out with their swords drawn. Perfect element of surprise. Right, big bro? Yes. See, sis? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. You, you're not being captured. You're you're just you're just tricking the bad guys into thinking of being captured. Yeah. Mona's not even really tying it all up. See, he like holds up his hands. He just ra- like wrapped it around her hands a couple of times and then did one singular loop. <laughs> when he holds up his hands and the rope falls off, she looks at that. Now I'm going to have to fix that. He, like, holds his hand out, just 
groaning. <laughs> Wait, that yeah, works? Okay, right? Leopold raises his hands. While you're at it, can you actually tie Leopold up? <laughs> I'm no, not high. I'm, than most I'm of you. clear headed now. Well, it's freaking this, scary. Half of this is your fault. My fault? I went to get yep. Brian like I was asked to. Yeah, and Brian's a fucking idiot. Mona, uh, like, sort of raised her voice. If it wasn't for Leopold, my deception wouldn't have worked. Where are we? Is Brian with us? Oh, yeah. No, Brian, Brian's been with you guys. I just haven't been feeling like role-playing. He's been with the other siblings. He's okay. just sulking in he, the corner. No, he actually looks like he's kind of just, like, the best way to describe it is in his own brain palace. Like, like oh, I was in very internally thinking and not really focusing on what's going on around him. Like, the only time he really displayed any emotion was when, um, was when you guys found Mom. I was gonna say, maybe he's just too high to notice anything, and he's just kind of, like, just so high he can't do shit. No, he's not, he's not, he's not high. He's, he's legitimately just pulling a coat, like, pulling a fucking... Light Yagami and just like just thinking to himself way too much. You, you've seen this look. He, he he did a lot when you guys were kids. Yeah, but um, Mona does speak up like that. If it wasn't for Leopold, my deception wouldn't have worked, and you all would have been caught. Fine. I guess it doesn't do us any good pointing fucking fingers, does it? It's really not any of our fault. It's those fucking oh. Elysians. Yes, yeah, Sorry, you keep going. I keep, I'm interrupting you. No, no, I was going to ask to tie Brian up a little tight. No, just, no just one gets mess, tied. Just no one gets AJ tied up next, tighter. Just to mess with AJ next time he comes in. Come on. No one gets tied up tighter than anyone else. Wait, and speaking of your swords, you have them under the boards, right? Yeah. Good. I keep uh well oh, I've got a kite shield. I don't know where to hide that that I found in the just, field. It, she just puts the kite shield like in the corner because that wouldn't really be seen as a weapon. That would have been seen like uh as like something I've stolen as she's gotcha. putting basically all our luggage in either the box in the back or just around the cart. She has the optilang hooked up. Her mom is uh mom is sitting Either riding the Optilang itself, or uh, on like, or on the cart seat where like the person who would be heading the Optilang, and Mona, as she has nothing in ride, she can't really ride this. Is just leading the Optilang on a uh, lead. As 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 the cart rolls down uh, rolls down the road, the camera pans up and fades back into a dark room lit only by either a singular flame or a window, it's hard to tell, as the, the, the pharam is, uh, as the pharam sits finishing, uh, finishing part of his story, as the woman in armor, the, uh, the Arachne woman, t uh, turns, Loptif? I, I, I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe that the Pale Mother swooped out of the night to save the champions. I come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite you the tale of Emelon's founding as well? No. No, perhaps I shouldn't be surprised that, to hear that she was involved. What else aren't you telling me? Did she send someone with the champions? In a manner of speaking... Who's speaking? So the rumors are true then. Continue. But if I if you tell me they stumbled upon a grove of unicorns or flew to Newport on a fucking dragon, nothing so fanciful, I assure you. Lop now I have to fly on now I need to get a dragon friend. <laughs> Loptif kept her promise. Kept them safe all the way to the town of Guarin, where they took ship. Sailed west down the Red River, south across the Storm Coast, basked by terrible storms the whole way. 
Four chains they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate, trying to escape from all of the all of the tyrants of the of the kingdom of Thru, only to find themselves with a whole new face of problems. And and then they saw it, Newport, the city of chains, built by the Calfar of the House of Jalf. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries and be sold on every market of the world. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what every other slave sees. The gallows. The enforcer base of operations. Welcoming you to your new home. And that, that's where their ship landed. With all the rest. Like those guys. Like those guys and subscribe to those guys. Hit the bell.